Yes, yeah, Seth, one of the areas that really got hard hit by those big, big storms that rolled through yesterday. Take a look at this car. Get a load of this. You can see the tarp on it right now and uh, the tape here, and we believe a wire on it as well. But look, as we move a little bit closer, look at this huge tree that's just completely taken out the back end here. There's a lot of damage just like this all across Metro Detroit. We visited some spots. Take a look. Damn, it tore my shit up on that side. I didn't even see that part. Checking the damage and chopping the wood on Woodburn Drive in Southfield. One day following Wednesday's big storms and the cleanup effort is far from over. This car was crushed by a huge oak tree. Another one was pierced by a large section of wood and a massive branch shot right through one person's bedroom. It's a real surprise, something that we never expected. That's the feeling many have across Metro Detroit as they work to recover in Gross Point Farms. These people cutting the trees have been fabulous. They've, they've been here, the same company on this corner since 8 o'clock this morning. Historic trees meet their end, but not before crashing into some estates with the history of their own inches from disaster for Terry Withers. Back room there with my two little grandchildren, and we just ran for the basement. But when we came back up here and we looked, I'm not kidding you. I mean, the, the branch looked like a spear that almost would have been impaled here. Impaled us, yeah. And in Redford, utility crews still have their hands full restoring power. But the strange thing is, we didn't lose the power till 10:30 this morning. How weird is that? That it was really weird because there was maybe a little rain. At least it rained while I was at work, but there was nothing else. No electricity means many like Kim Messenger are improvising. My parents have power, so we're actually kind of like emptying out the refrigerator, packing up and going to go chill there, hopefully until our power comes back on. But she's just grateful to be alive. We could smell smoke and our neighbor actually came knocking on our door saying we had a fire in the backyard. So one of the power lines behind our house came down and was sparking, causing the fire to ignite. Well, folks that we talked with say they were told by DTE that power would be restored by sometime Saturday. We also want to point out that as of yesterday, Gross Point officials, they put out some information saying that power had been lost to their pumping stations. And so they were warning people of the possibility of flooding. We did talk with several neighbors. Fortunately, the folks we talked with say they did not have any flooding, but we're not sure about other parts of the Gross Points. But that's been a long running issue as well. For now, we're live in Southfield. Dave Kinchin, Fox 2 News. Yes, yeah, so when you have a Wednesday night storm, Saturday seems like uh, a long way away, Dave. And we know the real big culprit here, the trees. It seems like more trees were uprooted than in the past. A lot of those winds had something to do with it as well. Um, they're working as fast as they can, but it's going to take time. Yeah, it's really going to take time. You know, DTE does go out for certain areas, especially I think along public rights away. They do a lot of tree trimming. There's uh, tree companies. They do the same thing. And uh, folks who have big trees, they're encouraged by city officials often across towns to trim their trees. But yeah, this is something that will definitely take time. Crews are working hard. We saw a lot of it today.